How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to another Drag Tune video. This is your boy Mars, and today we are going to tune the LC500. They should have been gave us this car, to be honest. We, we, we've been requesting this car for quite some time now, and I'm actually happy they finally gave it to us. A really, really nice car. Um, show you guys three tunes. Three tunes. Going to show you guys step by step guides, how to build it, and all that good stuff. Uh, so, like always, everybody new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button and let's get right to it. As you guys see, we got the 21 Lexus LC500. You got to get 20 points in the festivals to get this car, or you can get it from the storefront if you can uh, snipe it really quickly. Um, three tunes. One is going to have the original engine fully built. The other is going to have 1,200 horsepower, and the last engine is going to have 1,500 horsepower, which is a V12 right here. So let's start off with the original engine. The original engine gives you 936 horsepower, 709. 32 with the weight on there so it's still a heavy car i mean it is a modern car normally they're heavier than the other older cars so let's slap in uh, of course it's already slapped in but just leave that engine in there and leave it rear wheel drive and slap in the twin turbos i did not go wide body because of the weight uh, so they did not go wide body because of the weight and power so i just decided i'm not going for this car for not this car but for this tune now let's go right to the build, Let right over here, and let's pretty much just put all these parts on here, race. Very, very easy and simple. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, and then the flywheel, there we go. Now we're going to go to the um, suspension and brakes. Let's, let's put the rally in the suspension, best suspension I ever put. The rest of the parts are just going to be race. Uh, and no row cage, no need for the row cage. As you guys see, those are the parts for that. Now we're gonna go to the drivetrain here. Pretty, uh, pretty much, we're just gonna put everything that's race. So we're just gonna put all the race parts on here, make it easy and simple. And then we're gonna go right over here to the tires. Of course, drag tires. Make sure to put these drag tires. They are the best, stickiest ones to put. Don't put semi slicks. Make sure to put those. No width in the front for width in the rear at 305s. And then any wheels you guys like that are super light. Got these uh, wheels on there, Avent ones, looking really good on a modern car. Also deep dish, uh, looking really, really good. Left it with a regular silver color uh, that comes with the vehicle. Looks really, really nice and menacing. Uh, besides that, that is it. If you guys want to put some spacers, the uh, wheels look a little bit more aggressive there. You can do that as well. And you only get uh, some, some, you know, Forza. Uh, you do get the Liberty Walk spoiler there or the wing but no need for that and that is it let's go right to the tune guys we got 40 in the front 15 in the rear uh then we got 18 0 to 64 oh so it just dies down towards the end with that weight uh, traps 145 here goes the gears guys final drive is 320 first gear is 510 then we got 280 195 140 1 and 0.80 we don't need to use all 10 gears so we only going to use six zero everything out in seven 6, uh, 65 65 soft and soft all the way and then raise all the way to the sky then we got 1881 nothing with this or this and a hundred and a hundred so that is it let's bring it outside because I got three tunes to show you guys let's take it out for uh, a nice little spin here with the uh, anti-lag so of course it is going to use anti-lag but no launch control guys we are not using the launch control for this car Remember, launch control is only good on certain cars. Certain cars there is, certain cars is not. This one is just best off not to use the launch control. So let's uh, take a look at the inside here. Beautiful, beautiful inside on this car. Um, and then let's go outside here. It just looks really, really, really nice all the way around. So take it out for a little spin. Original engine, got those anti-lag flapping, popping. Planes coming out the rear. Can't go wrong with that. All in all, a really, really nice car. Uh, never got to drive, drive one myself, but see them in the streets, and whenever I do, it's just like a rare sight to see. Their price tag on these are super, super expensive. All right, now they've gone up in price. Really, 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 really nice. All righty, so let's go and fast travel real quick to the quarter mile. This is going to be a quarter mile car. 
Uh, no need to do the half a mile with it, but if you guys want to, you guys can, of course. You can do a half a mile with a quarter mile tune. Um, you just gotta just shift one more time, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go over here. Let's go down here real quick, and this is the quarter mile. This pole right over here. Let's put it in first gear. Make sure if you guys want the first burnout to get those tires hot. Always get them hot there. It gets a lot more grip here. And then it's going to be e-brake, gas, and clutch. So when you press the e-brake and gas, that RPM needle is going to shoot up. Once it shoots up, then you press down the clutch. If this happens here when you did it, then it's not working. You just got to go back, move forward, then try one more time. E-brake, gas, and then the clutch to hold the RPM at a higher RPM. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing that. There you go, guys. So e-brake, gas, and clutch. Hold it at a higher RPM. We got uh, torque 14 pounds. <laughs> torque 14 pounds. Boost 14 pounds. Torque is 543 at 4400 RPM. So you just got to let go of those two. And then the car just wants to go like crazy like that. Um, real nice, strong launch for it. And then you can have trap. I think it's like one, um, yeah, 150s. Trap 150. Let's see if we can do a better pass here with it. Having that uh, tune there. But yeah, make sure to always get those tires hot, guys. Get them, get them, get them hot. There we go. E brake, gas, and clutch. 14 pounds of boost. There we go. Get a nice little lift there in the front end. And then you can just transition the rest of the gears, guys. Very smooth and easy. Boom. Real nice. 156 there on a better pass. So all the way around, really cool. I mean, for the weight that it is and the power, at least it gave us 900 horsepower. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, the rest of them are exactly fully, fully, fully built. So if we can, we just gotta fully build them. So let's go to the other ones here so I can show you the build on those. That'll pretty much sum up the video, you guys. Let's go on here. Boom. Alrighty, let's load up the other tune, the 1200 horsepower tune. This is the uh, 2JZ engine in it. Let's go to load. Let's go to my tunes. I got an extra one for some reason. I clicked save for, for no reason. But let's go over here. 1270 is this one here. Weighs 3200 pounds. Let's load that in there. Put that in there. Then I'm going to show you guys the build on it. It's exactly identical. Exactly, exactly identical. But now we got a wide body kit. Just wanted to decide on going wide body kit. You probably don't have to use it, um, but I did use it. I just wanted to go wider body kit so we can go wider tires. So now we have this beautiful Liberty Walk wide body kit. Fits the car, amazing. Uh, seen this wide body kit before and it just looks, wow, it looks crazy. Uh, never seen it in person, only in pictures. So yeah, really, really nice. Really, really nice. So let's put that on there. Of course the car is rear wheel drive. And then now we're going to put this engine here, the 30 Inline six turbos, 1200 horsepower, weighs 3200, um, and 901 on that torque. That's it. Let's go over here to the build. Just gonna slap on the parts race. That is it, guys. Nothing crazy to do. Uh, just slap on the parts race, and then the suspension and the rest of the parts are exactly identical. So it's just gonna be rally, um, everything else race, of course, weight reduction, you know, and then the brakes race and no roll cage so exactly the same on the just like the first build all the parts here are just going to be race um, four speed transmission guys is a uh, really good trick you do reduce some weight on the four pieces four speed transmission and the four speed transmission will help you out with that uh, reducing weight kind of give you a nice little a good acceleration and stuff like that so now we're rocking 335s in the rear with a wide body kit instead of the uh, 305s now we got 335s which is pretty cool there and then of course any wheels you guys want if you guys want to put the spoiler the spoiler will uh, slow you down a little bit so no need for the spoiler um, besides that 160 0 to 63 7 now a little bit faster of course 1200 horsepower 146 top end there 40 tire pressure in the front 15 and then well, now we got 240 for final drive first gear is 470 second gear is 310 third gear is 230 
we got 170, 125, and 95. Zero everything out in seven. Soft and uh, 65 and 65. Soft in the front, stiff in the rear at 333. It don't have to be exactly the same, but that's fine. Raise all the way up. And we got 1881. Um, this, oh wow, we can put this all the way towards speed to get a nice higher top end speed. So make sure to put this all the way towards speed. And then we got uh, nothing with the brakes and 100 and 100. So that is it there. Let's bring it outside for a nice little spin. Alright, here we go. We're outside. Now we got that 2JC with the Yanny lag. Sounding pretty crazy. Let's bring it over here. Looks like the sun is setting. I'm trying to do this before it gets nighttime. There we go. E brake, gas, and clutch, of course. We got uh, 454, 23 pounds of boost, 4,700 RPMs. Real nice strong launch there. Transition those gears like it's so. And then you're gonna go to fifth gear here. I think that's about 200 miles per hour. Oh no, actually 190. <laughs> Which one did the 200? I think it was the uh, 1500 horsepower. 192 there. Again, remember weight to power ratio. Car is heavy. It should move in a lot quicker. Some cars I've seen move quicker that weighs more. But this is all for the Forza Dodger. Forza Dodger. Certain cars that should be faster than others or not. It's just gotta love it. Well, let's go right over here. Quarter mile, guys. E brake, gas, and clutch. Let's launch it. There we go. Oh, 70 almost in the quarter mile. Super, super, super nice. Perfect, so let's uh, go and load up the final tune is 1500 horsepower. Remember, it's exactly the same build. The only thing you're probably going to change is going to be that um, the tune where it comes towards the, uh, the downforce there. So let's load up this one, 1500 horsepower now. The biggest engine you can put on here, a V12. Uh, let's go over here to the, uh, as you guys can see, 1500 horsepower. 101, it weighs 34 on that weight now. And let's go right to the tune. We got their 40 in the front, 15 in the rear, 1.5, 3.3. Then we got 220, 430 first gear, second gear is 3, third gear is 230, 170, 140, 120. Zero everything out in 7, 65, 65. Soft in the front, stiff in the rear at 350. Raise all the way up, 1881. Make sure to put this all towards speed so you can get higher top end. Nothing with this and a hundred and a hundred. So that is it. That is it. Now the sound of a V12 is just beautiful. All right, let's get these tires hot. Same exact launch, guys. E-brake, gas. Once you press the e-brake and gas, needle's gonna shoot up. Hold it with the clutch. You tap on the clutch a little bit sometimes. 32 pounds of boost. Torque is 710 on that torque. 46 RPMs. Initial front end raises up like that. Then we're just gonna transition those gears super smooth. Had a shift right before it, but yeah, about 200 miles per hour. It traps now with the 1500 horsepower. Remember, it should do a lot quicker, uh, even though the weight, but it should still move pretty, pretty quick. All the way around though, it was a beautiful car. Honestly, this car is gonna be more for me uh, to just drive around, cruise around, take it to car shows. Um, and then just, you know, normally I'll probably use just original engine for car shows and stuff. But man, it sounds really nice too with the V12. The pops and everything on the V12. 
Imagine if this car had like uh Imagine if it had a in here. Real before I let you guys go, just want to see if there is the LFA engine in this thing. It's the 10, yeah, it's right here. That's the LFA engine. Ooh, that'll probably be me right there. LFA engine having it, having it crack with the LFA engine. Uh, LFA engine, uh, you could probably get it to tune it like the uh, this three, so it's probably be about the same same exact tune. But yeah, forgot about the LFA engine. LFA engine will probably be a good one to actually use. But there you go, guys. You got three engines: original 1200 and the V12. So um, 3.0 V12 and the original. Engine. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe, enjoy, and I'll see you guys around with another drag tune video. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye now.